गुड आफ्टरनून एस एवरी वन सो हैप्पी टू मीट यू ऑल बैक इन दिस ऑसम सेशन ओके फाइन सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू प्रैक्टिस नो द एम सी क्यूज फॉर अवर सी एज यूर नेट आई होप दैट एवरीबडी इज रेडी विथ यूर थिंग्स येस सो लेट एस बिगिन द प्रैक्टिस नो दिस इज फॉर यूर सी एज यूर नेट आर नेट कम ऑन एवरीबडी सो आई एम हैप्पी टू अनाउंस दैट नो अवर अन अकेडमी सब्सक्रिप्शन आर गोइंग टू हाइक अप बाई ट्वेंटी पर्सेंट सो डोंट वेट टिल दिस प्राइस हाइक बिफोर दैट एक्ट फास्ट एंड नो कम अप विथ द सब्सक्रिप्शन यू कैन यूज माई कोड सरण्या लाइव सच दैट यू विल गेट टेन परसेंट ऑफ ऑन द टोटल पीस नंबर ऑफ हाउसम कोर्सेस और कमिंग अप ओके सो डोंट मिस आउट नो टू एनरोल फॉर सच वंडरफुल कोर्सेस ऑल राइट सो दिस इज अब्सोल्युटली गोइंग टू बी वेरी मच हेल्पफुल इन योर प्रिपरेशन ओके सो लेट्स टेक द वेरी फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन ऑफ द डे ऑल राइट सो द क्वेश्चन गोज लाइक दिस दिस इज फ्रॉम योर यूनिट नंबर नाइन दैट इज द टू ऑन दिस फाइलोजेनेटिक्स I want one of the easy to score topic. Okay, right. So whenever you are doing question, just mark and come which questions are repeated, uh, no, very frequently. Which questions are easy to perform? So all those things you should, you uh, know, look out and come such that it becomes easy to score well. So let's take this question. Which of the following phylogenetic trees appropriately uses the principle of parsimony? Okay. What do you mean by parsimony? Parsimony means it tells that there is going to be the minimum changes. Okay, so if there is going to have a minimum changes, that is what is called as parsimony. So they have given you with four options. Among the four, you are going to tell me which are going to follow the principle of parsimony. Yes, everybody in the class. Give a try. So here you have to simply count the number of changes. What is the changes? This is going to be a change or a variation. So if at all they are asking the minimum changes, the first duty is to count how many changes are there. Okay. Shall we count? Everybody is ready to count with me. Yes, Preetam. Let us count and check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. So, how many changes are there? Eleven changes are there. So, shall we check out the option B? How many changes? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Got the point. Okay. So, here how many changes are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yes, Anantara. Good afternoon. So here there are eleven changes. So here how many changes are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Right. So now who is following the principle of parsimony? That means among the option which is having the minimum changes. Now it is easy for you to find out or not. Once you know the technique, absolutely it becomes oh my god, it becomes much 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 easier for everybody to find out the answer. Correct? Yes, yes, correct. Good everyone. <laughs> yes, Anantara. It is none other than B because B is only having ten changes. All others are having eleven changes. B is alone having ten changes, so that is going to follow the yes, Vani. Absolutely, B is going to be the correct answer. So this comes under our clarograms. Okay, so clarograms are nothing but it is a diagram. Okay, so under this diagram, you uh, know, uh, if at all it is made with the distance, it is called as the phylogram. Okay, so that is what is called as the phylogram. All right, good. So next, we are going to just quickly. Revise few terms. Okay, before we take up the next questions, we are going to revise few terms. Number one, it is going to be the homoplasy. What do you mean by homoplasy? Homoplasy means there is going to be no common ancestor. So, what do you mean by homoplasy? Homoplasy means there is going to be no common ancestor. That is what is called as the homoplasy. Got it? Okay. What do you mean by autapomorphy? 
autapomorphy means it is going to be unique to the taxon so what is your autapomorphy that means that it is going to be unique to the taxon yes right absolutely yeah so it has you uh, know recently come out so autapomorphy is a uh, recently it has come out okay right yes and what about this synapomorphy in this synapomorphy yes it is going to have a recent ancestor this recent ancestor it is going to be shared so that is what is called as the synapomorphy see this is the recent ancestor this recent ancestor is shared between these two so this is what is called as the synapomorphy homoplasy already we saw syn lysomorphy that is what we are doing here also isn't it so this is only following the principle of parsimony lysomorphy means there is the ancestral character that is going to be shared if the ancestor is shared it is called as the lysomorphy now all the definitions are clear to you now shall we make up you know with the next question come on everybody this is going to be i test question only yes all right come on guys so let's all make out to understand this question in a better manner the following diagrams represent various ways in which a character may evolve okay right number 1 it is going to be a derived triad okay this is going to be the ancestral triad right so this is a derived triad this is a derived triad okay now you are going to tell out what is a what is b what is c okay so i am saying that a is odd apomorphy true or false i am saying that a is odd apomorphy true or false odd apomorphy what was the definition what was the definition for this odd apomorphy ha ah. for odd apomorphy i told that it is going to be unique to the taxon is it unique to the taxon no no it is not at all unique to the taxon yes so absolutely it cannot come under the odd apomorphy all right absolutely so coming to the next one next option says that it is odd apomorphy so this is also wrong statement it is a syn apomorphy right or wrong it is going to be the syn apomorphy syn apomorphy means recent ancestor is getting shared true or false see this diagram recent ancestor it is getting shared true or false hmm everybody in the class did you get it so a absolutely it has a recent ancestor that is shared so this is going to be syn apomorphy so this is correct next one okay two things are there but there is no common ancestor if there is going to be no common ancestor can you call it at odd apomorphy never isn't it so what is going to be the correct answer for this question it is going to be the ha huh? so what it is going to be it is going to be none other than the homoplasy no common ancestor is homoplasy this is unique to the taxon so what is going to be unique to the taxon it is what is called as homoplasy understood yes everybody so syn apomorphy homoplasy odd apomorphy everything is now thorough to you so now you understood what is a what is b and what is c yes so what is the correct answer for this question it is going to be your option d very good so this is another question from your this thing so maybe we'll do it another time let us take an another subject okay now we are jumping to cell biology oh okay. which one of the following it is representing the autonomous retrotransposon is it science lines p element tetan absolutely all the four are transposon but what is the Ah, a type of this that is what is being asked okay so whether it is going to be line science p element t which is coming under the autonomous retrotransposon 
कम ऑन गाइस रेडियर वॉट एवरीबडी इन द क्लास यस अमे देर कम ऑन गाइस मेक इट आउट मेक इट आउट सिंपल क्वेश्चन ओनली यस विच इज दैट नॉन अदर दैन अवर लायंस ओके यस लायंस it is long interspersed element uh, that is going to be your autonomous signs are usually non autonomous lions yes vani it is going to be your lions lions is in the b uh, signs are non autonomous okay it is going to be lions very good all so it is going to be lions lions are only autonomous in nature okay how it is autonomous it is containing the polymer is within Uh, so that is why it is called as autonomous and your uh, transposes uh, transposes it is also present within hmm? so transposes is only making them to be autonomous this non autonomous they make use of other element for your uh, this thing so lions are autonomous this question is simple ion transport that will be most affected following the mutation in cystic fibrosis uh, trans membrane conductance regulator okay so ion transport it is going to be most affected following the mutation in cystic fibrosis trans membrane conductance regulator it is going to be what yes nilanjana happy to meet you back hmm all right so which is going to be the one is it going to be sodium potassium chloride calcium ha ah, so what is reg- uh, related with your this thing yes sonali good it is with your chloride i used to tell no so if you want to clean a place you put bleach why because it is containing sodium hypochlorite yes chlorine is uh, helpful in cleaning right so if the cleaning is not done mucus is going to get accumulated mucus clearance is very very important if it is not then mucus is going to get accumulated so since because the mucus is getting accumulated yes it it causes much 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 problem in your cftr that is why see uh, your cystic fibrosis occurs understood right uh, okay fantastic in drosophila legs are growing okay on the head instead of antenna my god why why in this uh, drosophila legs are growing in terms uh, where an antenna should be present why it is an example of homeotic transformation epigenetic modification chromosomal aberration or dysgenesis what could be the reason for this problem ha huh? yes what genes become mutated such that it is having this much issue yes yes what genes are there antenna antenna pedia antenna pedia is coming under homeotic genes isn't it homeotic genes it includes your um, antenna pedia genes yes it includes the ah uh, what else your bithorax genes yes the ubx and all we have studied no ultra bithorax antenna pedia all these are nothing but the homeotic genes if the homeotic genes are only mutated it is going to lead to the development of leg in the place of antenna got it here on you will not forget this points okay so see the next question it is very very important question so let us see this how this is happening okay come on four limb of human and flippers of whale okay four limb of human and flippers of whale both are mammals they are embryologically they are homologous what does the homologous structure tell us about the evolution this is an example of adaptive radiation because similar group of organisms adapt no in the different environment it is an example of divergent evolution because similar group of organisms they exhibit different environment or similar group of organism with mutation and variation they get selected in different environment so this is a convergent evolution due to similar group of organisms inhabiting different environment which is a correct combination of statement 
इंटरेस्टिंग क्वेश्चन आई लाइक दिस क्वेश्चन वेरी मच एस एवरीबडी थिंक ऑफ नो हरी लिटरली यस यस Yes. Think on. Then, na. Uh, everyone, yes, Sonali. Yes, Vani. Hmm. Very good. So, what literally happens, if at all, the four? What happened, guys? I really don't know. Am I there now? I'm. I just restarted. So, am I visible now? Yes or no? Hmm. Oh my God. What happened? Seriously, I'm not getting. Okay, am I there now? I came back. Yes, everybody. Okay, fine. I think now I'm back. right thank you all okay so coming back to this question yes absolutely you are all right a is going to be the correct answer yes ha huh. so it says that absolutely uh, uh, this is uh, your four limb of human okay as well as the flippers you know they are going to become your homologous structures okay so what it is telling so this is an example of your adaptive radiation absolutely it is correct and it occur due to the similar group of organisms that is absolutely inhabiting this environment so this is correct yes ha huh. everybody am i visible am i audible and all no human and chip they differ more in the dna sequences of the functional gene so rather than you know the other genes they are differing only in the functional genes okay true or false then they have a faster evolution uh, no than the chimp next the more advanced the species have more number of functional genes so which is going to be the correct prediction about no human and the chimpanzee yes everybody come on think and answer good good come on all you know all make it up think and answer so please keep up your revisions high and also no try to cover multiple units at a time i mean no, while you are solving the mcq don't stick to don't always stick to unit wise you have a habit of doing unit wise unit wise if you do you will feel good i agree but it should be an assorted one if you do assorted only like the examination you will get the exact feedback from yourself got the point so always never try to do only unit wise whichever unit you are learning so that units alone you might tend to do okay but absolutely don't do that try to do mixed ones because that is going to be more helpful understood yes okay so which of the following is going to be correct hmm is it pseudo genes or not ha ah. so 98 percentage we have similar 99 percent we have similarity only 0.1 percentage so this 0.1 is coming from the pseudo genes only okay so pseudo genes only make the difference between human and chimp none other than that okay got it shall we make up a move towards the next question there are two closely related species okay so there are two closely related species of fish in a lake so they occupy distinct habitat niches they are morphologically distinct they do not interbreed in nature however they have overlapping breeding seasons they have identical courtship displays they can be inbred or interbred in the laboratory to produce fertile offsprings 
that can be bred over several generation this is likely to be a case of which of the following allopatric species driven by sexual selection ecological speciation allochronic speciation then thinking on it what kind of speciation is this hmm what they will create yes it is creating your ecological speciation okay why ecological speciation why not uh, allopatric allopatric means uh, there should be your geographical variation yes sir uh, there is no sexual selection okay so it is not meant for uh, geography see because they live in the same place or different place they occupy the distinct nick they are morphologically distinct they do not interbreed okay they however they have an overlapping breeding season okay so uh, how you will handle this if there is going to be two closely related species yes they occupy distinct habitat nicks so if it is going to be allopatrism the place is different but nick variety is going to be the same okay you cannot call them as a distinct nick so by that you can go with the ecological speciation okay right so we'll do a methods question everybody in the class come on guys so that is a researcher okay so the researcher was actually working with emsa technique so what is this emsa technique he was working with three proteins a b and c they may have the potential roles in gene expression in order to validate the hypothesis emsa was performed the purified proteins were allowed to bind with a labeled dna and the results obtained after autoradiography was shown below okay right so this is going to be a lane without any protein a no protein b no protein c so you don't see any band here only dna is shown a band here no protein in this lane here you put your protein b but this protein b it is not going to bind with your dna that is why it is not showing any bands here got the point what about protein c ma protein c no band protein a it is showing a band so protein a alone it is showing a band next lane this is a this is b okay this is by a so this band should be by b but if b is alone no band but if b is present with a it is actually binding understood if it is going to be protein b and c no effect if it is going to be protein a and c a is there no so you are getting a band here understood yes or no now everybody in the class got this interpretation of emsa technique a very very important technique to be noted got it or not everybody in the class yes ha ah, too much important okay good good everybody come on keep it up right so now they are saying that your protein a okay so your protein a oh my god i come this way it is going to possess dna binding motif true or false your protein a is having dna binding motif true or false hmm see here wherever a is there you see a band correct no so a has a protein binding motif so this point is absolutely correct b has a dna binding motif true or false b is not having directly so this is eliminated next point so this protein b uh, so the next point says that the protein b uh, it is going to bind with your uh, Mm. 
yes this protein b is going to bind up with dna protein a complex so this is absolutely going to be the correct one yes okay so now it is understandable or not yes everybody so now you got it like how it works okay fine so a and uh, 1 and 3 are right yes c it is bound only it is bound with a so this is wrong so only 1 and 3 so answer b is going to be the correct answer if anybody is not getting please let me know i'll help you to understand uh, make you to understand this in a better manner everybody in the class you got it like how this works emsa assay it is assay to determine the interaction between the dna and the protein got it yes ah so that is what it is helping with okay everybody so similar questions come with promoter so interpretation questions are always easy and direct so never miss such a type of question if at all it is coming up in the examination okay so shall we make a move towards the next question okay the given below it is the set of statistical methods or parameters and their application and utility in biological research in a random manner number 1 it is going to be the variance correlation coefficient regression chi square analysis hmm come on guys variance correlation coefficient regression chi square chi square is observed and expected correct yes so this is observed and expected so 3 should be d huh? yes hmm 3 should be d by that only two fellows will be eliminated correct no yes and what is meant by regression analysis hmm regression okay what about variance variance is going to be the spread of distribution isn't it so spread of distribution is variance what is correlation association right association is what is called as correlation correct no yes and uh, what is going to be the variance it is four so by that only you will know that c is going to be the correct answer for this question yes variance is going to be the spread spread is what is called as variance correlation means uh, between two how they are related ha huh? if r uh, it should be maximum it will be plus 1 minimum it will be minus 1 okay right this is the maximum thing in between there is zero okay zero means there is no correlation this is increasing concentration as you increase them this one is increasing this is going to be a decreasing correlation okay so this is going to be decreasing but this is going to be no correlation understood yes everybody so now you understood all this stuff regarding the statistics yes one more important equation this is in regression or correlation is y is equal to mx plus c what is going to be this uh, c c is going to be the y intercept what is m m is going to be the slope what is m m is the slope c it is going to be the y intercept very important to note yes everyone so is this clear to you now yes these points are literally very very important for your examination all right so now shall we make up a move towards the next one yes or no ah come on guys yes so this is a chi squared okay right so now next question from developmental biology okay right so uh, it is it is going to be the injection of nog in mrna in the cells it is going to become the future ventral side of the frog embryo it is going to mimic the effect of organizer that is being grafted to the ventral side this experiment demonstrate that you should not think the overall truth whatever it is taught inside this experiment only based on that you have to select the outcome some statements may be true but that is not going to be the outcome of this particular thing got it then you cannot take it out okay so you have to take it out those things 
which are absolutely uh, making up okay so that things alone you have to take it up understood yes everybody so now it is clear to you okay so nogin it is going to be a transcription factor nogin it induces ventral fate nogin it is involved in the organizer fate nogin it is required to induce the secondary fate what is the experiment they inject the nogin mrna into the cells ah uh, so your cells that becomes the future uh, future ventral side it mimics the organizer okay uh, so uh, your organizer is now planned in the ventral side okay so what does this uh, tell you up hmm yes in this experiment it is telling that it is a transcription factor anyway it is telling that it is a transcription factor not at all no nowhere it is telling that it is a transcription factor it induces ventral fate never it will induce only the dorsal fate never a ventral fate login is involved in organizer fate correct it is required to introduce a secondary axis correct so c and d with option d is going to be the correct answer yes everybody in the class so now it is uh, no clear to you why your option b with c and d is going to be correct yes ha huh. c and d with option b is going to be correct yes understood everybody yes okay fantastic yeah in e coli okay so you are having your e coli cells right so these e coli cells it is grown under the nutrient rich condition okay so you have your e coli and this e coli is grown under the nutrient rich condition so what happens is that the replication okay so this replication it is going to take place for 40 minutes okay right fine but you know that what is the generation time 20 minutes then how come the 40 minute replication is completed in 20 minutes one more point also i'll supplement you the total cell cycle it takes place around 60 minutes yes phase alone 40 minutes okay if it is going to be g1 yes g2 and m it takes 60 minutes yes but the total generation time is 20 minutes how come this is possible while e coli divides every 20 minute equal transfer of genetic material occurs second round of genome replication begins before the completion of first round of replication and by the time the cell is ready to divide two copies are available genome replication and cell division it is not correlated with each other during cell division only one strand of the genome synthesis is achieved in 20 minutes and it is transferred to the daughter cells yes which one is right answer for this question hmm how this is feasible within 20 minutes it is dividing but your cell cycle takes 60 minutes and replication takes 40 minutes how is this time log solved what could be the reason it is because the second round is going to begin before the completion of first round so it is like maybe you could have gone to some cooking competitions for example okay so there uh, in your college they may ask you to prepare some food and cup so you make the batter ready at home the batter may take like 8 hours okay and then you come to the show you just fry them and give in just 10 minutes okay it doesn't mean that the total dish will take only 10 minutes to prepare understood the logic likewise in your bacteria all this replication things are taking place in background okay and just in 20 minutes the final things are done and it is given to the next stop got it everybody this is how your generation time is kept minimum to 20 minutes even though your replication is 40 minutes and your cell cycle takes 60 minutes to complete one cycle understood okay one more question from cell biology come on guys everybody can rock this question it is also one of the easiest question okay let's see this question in a strain of e coli a fusion between the lac and trip operon took place and the new locus is shown below the strain that lacks the wild type trip operon okay it is it is having that 
and uh, given below it is uh, the potential scenarios lack i it is going to be the represser lack uh, operator and promoter it is the regulator then they have fused them with the trip so now it is under the control of lack or trip hmm it is under the control of lack or trip yes everybody it is under the control of ah lack no this this is only your operator and promoter yes this is going to be this operator this is going to be your promoter okay so this is kept under the control of your lack and the trip yes priyanka welcome to the class right so now they are asking if at all tryptophan will be synthesized in a medium that is containing lactose and tryptophan is it possible i have a medium my medium is containing lactose and tryptophan okay right will the genes be on or off tell me line by line we'll solve this question yes or no if i put tryptophan inside the medium okay also lactose this will be on or off i am saying that it is going to get on true or false yes it is going to get on why it is going to get on because this operator and promoter is dependent only on lag it never minds about the trip in general we'll say that if trip is present this operon is off correct but this is the case only if it is under the control of trip promoter when will be the lag promoter be on lag promoter it will be on only if lactose is present if lactose is absent this promoter is going to shut off understood everyone yeah so this is going to be the correct answer tryptophan synthesis will be repressed in a medium containing glucose this is also correct because if glucose is present there is catabolite repression so this is off so tryptophan synthesis will be repressed so tryptophan synthesis will take place only in the absence of tryptophan is it true is it true never never it is true so this is going to be a wrong statement it is independent of tryptophan it depends only on the lag because your controller it is going to be only this lag but not the trip so this is wrong right so three wherever you see you can strike off so only correct answer is option a with 1 and 2 got it everybody in the class any doubts please let me know is it clear shall you make up a move okay the different arms in the trna structures it is shown in the column so the specific signatures it is shown in column b okay so number 1 it is the acceptor arm anticodon arm t psi u arm and d arm okay so here you have dihydrouridin seven uh, base pair stem and cca sequence five base pair stem pseudouridin so now you are going to make a match the following of these stuff easier one no yes hmm yes everyone good good right so what is going to be the acceptor arm ah huh. at least this one is easy no d arm what is d arm ah huh? ah d arm is going to be your dihydrouridin right what is pseudouridin t psi c arm at least d is one you can confirm this answer yes in which option d is one only option d correct and uh, c is going to be four this is also correct and anticodon arm is going to contain your five prime base pair and uh, your acceptor arm is only going to contain the cca sequence acceptor arm is going to contain the cca sequence got it everybody in the class so now is it easy for you to you know find it out 
such a simple question from your examination yes absolutely right so we'll make a move towards the next question it's a interesting and an important question guys come on all let's make up for the next question okay good everybody following statements are made about the chromatin remodeling in human cells local chromatin conformation it is going to play more important role than the local dna sequence of the promoter histones in nucleosomes it is going to undergo many different covalent modification which in turn alter the chromatin architecture locally chromatin remodeling it is it is a developmentally regulated passive process which does not require atp several histone variants exist they are going to replace the standard histone in specific types of chromatin which are going to be the correct one yes we are going to select the correct combination hmm first is correct or not by that only few options you can eliminate yes what about third one third one it does not require atp gone right ha ah, absolutely it requires atp no by that only you can eliminate i guess yes absolutely it says that it does not require atp it require atp without atp nothing can be done in remodeling correct so you can eliminate those option with 3 3 so 1 2 4 is correct right so now you got it all hmm yes okay good everybody a multimeric protein whenever it is run on a sds gel it showed two bands one it is at 20 kilo dalton okay very important uh, question of interest okay right so it is going to be 22 bands it is going to be at 20 kilo dalton as well as 40 kilo dalton okay however when the protein was run on a native gel it showed a single band at 120 kilo dalton okay so if it is going to be a single band it is going to be 120 kilo dalton so what could be the native form of the protein what could be the native form of the protein hmm here only two bands one at 20 one at 40 total is 120 hmm so what could be it it is a homo trimer hetero tetramer hetero dimer hetero trimer homo means both should be same here it is different now so it is hetero so at least one option i will eliminate for you right now within the three find it out it is a dimer trimer or tetramer total is 120 ma if it is dimer only two boxes one is 20 and 40 is making only 60 so you want 120 means into two so totally four boxes are there so it is going to be a hetero tetramer got it all wasn't it simple guys ha ah, it is going to be your hetero tetramer because it has the four things understood i think this type of questions are still coming up in your examination i guess yes as far as my knowledge is concerned i think this questions are uh, still more in the market correct all right yes everybody so don't worry we will we will just have a look at the next question okay there is a hexapeptide which has an isoelectric point of 6.9 and q it is it is having a valine instead of glutamate at position 3 so they were analyzed at ph 8 so which of the following is correct so before that remember one basics pi whenever it is going to be greater than ph it will feel positive pi whenever it is going to be less than ph it will feel negative so what is going to be the pi pi is 6.9 so what is going to be the ph 8 so pi is less than ph so it will be negatively charged have it in a corner of your mind so if it is going to be a negatively charged yes 
and uh, where it will move towards positive electrode so what is the positive electrode it is anode or cathode ha ah. yes see the first one ha ah. see the first one it is 6.9 second one uh, it is containing a val line instead of glutamate so it is little bit basic okay yes basic means positively charged right this is little bit acidic this is little bit negatively charged okay so which will migrate towards what huh what is an anion anion is negative anode is positive right yes so p is going to be negatively charged so it will move towards the anode correct q is going to be your this thing so absolutely your answer a is going to be correct because it will make a move towards your anode fastly p is minus no it is it is going to move make a move towards the anode so a is going to be the correct answer yes for this you have to learn few things i'll just teach you the basics to make a better understanding of this point alone okay listen carefully everybody in the class okay right number 1 yes dibmalya number 1 if your pi it is going to be lesser than the ph how you will feel you will feel low negative so it is an anion so it will move towards the anode anode is positive if ph is going to be greater than uh, sorry pi is greater than ph it is positive it is a cathode so it is going to move towards the cathode cathode is negative yes so these two are done this is regarding the pi and the ph okay and the next one so first p and q is there q is having glutamate okay so this q is having valine in place of glutamate so it is going to be less acidic so less acidic means it is going to become basic basic means positive charge acidic means negative charge so this will migrate fast towards the anode this will migrate less towards the anode understood because anode is positive okay so option a it says that p will migrate faster it is going to be the correct one understood everybody in the class is it now clear no doubts okay next question which of the following techniques can be used to study the conformational changes in myoglobin so which of the following techniques is used to study the conformational changes in the myoglobin mass spectrometry fluorescence spectroscopy cd spectroscopy light microscopy conformation conformation means definitely one fellow will be there with that you can find the answer ah uh, conformation means it's telling about the 2d structure 2d means who a good clue i gave you no yes come on guys none other than cd and fluorescence so q and r is going to be the correct answer got it everybody absolutely okay see there is a mixture containing three similarly sized peptides one is p q and r p is positively charged q is negatively charged r is very strongly negatively charged if it is passed through the ionic change column containing an anionic resin so anionic resin means anion is going to be negatively charged okay so you are putting them a negatively charged resin so who will be attracted positive ions will be attracted who will be sent out ah uh, it is going to be r q and then p okay so what is going to be the order of elution they have asked okay for this you have to find it out understood i'll repeat this one more time before asking you the question i gave you the answer very bad <laughs> okay so see here there are three proteins p q and r they have given that p it is going to be positively charged q is negatively charged r is double negative charged okay right 
so if at all you are having an anionic resin so what is the charge of the anionic resin anionic resin is going to be negatively charged so who will come and bind with this resin your p protein because p protein is only positive this q and r it is negative so negative will negative will repel each other it cannot bind only your p is positive that will only can bind so who will be sent out first r because it is very negative it is repelling next it is q finally only it is going to be p that is the order so this order only they are asking so the correct answer is going to be your option b got it everybody yes okay fine fine so the next one absolutely it is going to be a very very interesting questions yes so shall we just you know uh, see it now everybody in the class is ready to see this question i guess okay come on guys let's see this question yes so this says that uh, which of the following dna sequences carries an inverted repeat which of the following is carrying an inverted repeat hmm inverted repeat what do you mean by inverted repeat opposite it should come no that is what is inverted yes among them which is inverted ah none other than your option b check it out what i told you for inverted okay it is very simple you have to take this is going to be your atg okay right here it is going to be a uh, atc correct yes so now it is going to be inverted it is coming in the opposite side if it is a repeat it will come as such but if it is going to be an inverted repeat it is going to come up in the opposite direction correct so it is coming like a t c t okay so that is what it is going to be your uh, no a t c t so that is coming in the opposite direction see a c t c okay so that is what it is uh, coming up in the opposite direction okay so this is only going to be your inverted repeat it is not a direct repeat it is reversed so it is called as inverted repeat okay so it is it is coming you uh, know in that manner it is not direct but it is going to be in the opposite manner like your mirror image okay yes so if it is at it will be ta okay so it is just opposite see tac ha huh? here it is also ta at at so these two it is going to be inverted repeat okay under alkaline conditions dna it is going to be more stable than rna why why it is more stable rna form secondary structure rna is a single stranded molecule uh, rna has uracil it is susceptible to hydrolysis which is making them which is making the dna to be more stable rna is susceptible to hydrolysis because you have your two prime oh group so hydrolysis nucleophilic attack is there so that is why rna is not stable got it yes everybody ah so i hope that all these explanations were helpful to you whenever you get time please make it sure that you are practicing a lot of questions i told you that lot of amazing courses for your revision crisp revision it is coming up seriously i encourage self study but at the end i really want you to to be more focused i want you to more be into a strict plan yes then only you can achieve great heights so take number of tests so everything is available at an academy let it be your mock test unit wise test your revision notes everything is available the prices are going to hike up by 31st may so before that take up a subscription you can use my code saranya live if you really like the way of my teaching yes okay guys so that's all folks for today i'll meet you back on monday with more information till that stay tuned 
all the very best don't miss out anything revise as much as possible definitely it is going to be much 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 easier for you if you make out a complete revision and practice yes everything is absolutely feasible so don't miss out anything yes absolutely you can make out in great heights so uh, all the best everybody i'll keep you up in uh, no updation with the new classes all the very best i'll catch you soon tata bye bye see you have a nice weekend ahead thank you everybody